Welcome back. Today we're gonna do a little bit different video and I'm gonna show you around the new car we just bought. 2014 Crew Max 5.7 V8. Some people call this a dinosaur. I like it. I've always wanted a Tundra. I owned an 03. I've owned a, owned a Tacoma. Tacoma's just too small. Um, I have a two-year-old son, a wife. We like to do things. The Tacoma just wasn't safe anymore. It didn't have side airbags. Gas mileage is not that great. So let me show you what it has, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we're gonna change, of course. So starting off, best thing about the truck, the suspension. I got the Total Chaos upper, upper control arms. We got King coilovers in the front. And in the rear, we have King shocks as well. You can see the tires, they need to be changed. Wheels, they're fuel 20 inch. I think they're like cranks or something, a Toyo AT tires. Probably gonna go with some, I don't know, Generals, maybe BFGs, a little old school in the BFGs. Um, heard, been hearing good things about the Falcon AT2s as well. Right now I'm thinking Method wheels. I have those on my, ton my Tacoma, I really like them. Um, I just don't like the offsets they offer. Anything in a 17 inch, there's a couple other companies that offer, I think Icon and a few other people, FN wheels actually offer a 17 inch with plus 15 to plus 25 offset and that's the sweet spot for these trucks. The methods are zero offset at 17s and that's just too, it's too aggressive. It just sticks out too much. The amp research steps on the side, open the door. And they open up. This one's pretty interesting. It has the um, the six seat, so it has a bench seat in the front. The only thing I don't like about it is this top part is super hard. It's I mean it's plastic everywhere. It's not comfortable for your elbow. So I'm looking at a few different ways to change that. So it's pretty basic. It's funny. It's got the column shifter up here, like old school truck. Had a '91 Toyota pickup, extra cab V6. That was the same way, so it has that same old school feel to it. It does have the end tune thing, the navigation, uh, all that. XM radio, which is cool. The guy already prepaid for it, and I don't think he's going to cancel. So I'm just going to enjoy that for now. Um, pretty basic, no sunroof. Uh, he did have um, some kind of like, I think, neoprene, maybe wet oak, oak or whatever seat covers on it since day one. So, I mean, these seats are like, other than the mess. They're brand new. There's barely any stains on them. A little bit in the back, I think, from from me, probably, with my kids so far. Car seat, you can see, I mean, there is so much space back here. Car seat does not even come close to hitting that front seat. And that's what I needed. My last truck, seats were pushing up against the car seat almost all the time. So tons of space back here. The wife approves. Uh, and the newer ones, 14 and up, this back seat flips up. I kind of like the other ones because the whole seat goes front and back. Um, but this one, it stays, stays stable or fixed and the bottom part comes up and down. There is actually a system in here. It's got the base control knob. I'm not sure what it is yet. He does have six by nines in the doors, which those are, are, are going to be changed. I have some uh, image dynamic six and a half components that are going in. I'm gonna put the tweeter up here in the, the cell panel. Uh, the six and a halfs will go down here in the door. I'm gonna leave the head unit the same. And there is a sub in the back um, behind the seat. I don't know what it is. I haven't been able to tear into it. It's you have to unbolt the seats to get to it. It's like a probably a, I think it's a JBL or something ten. I don't really like it. I had a 8W3 JL in the other truck, and um, that one hit really good. And it was it was really clean, clear. So. We're gonna uh, end up taking that out of the other Tacoma before I sell it. All of this I wanna change. So these bumper ends, I think I'm gonna vinyl wrap them. I don't wanna spend the money on getting them painted. It's chrome, it's hard to paint, so you'd have to buy plastic corners, front and rear, and you get them painted. So I'm just gonna vinyl wrap them. There is a, a color that almost matches it perfectly. The grill, surround, and bulge, I don't like the chrome. So that's gonna be changed out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave the center part the same. There's the pro grill, there's limited grills, there's platinum grills. I'm um, gonna try to find a color match one used. Otherwise the, the TRD pro grill 
is like I don't know with the hood bulge shipping it's like five to six hundred bucks brand new so I'm gonna try to find it used and save some money the door handles might might change those out for color match as well as the mirror cover but we'll see I don't mind the black uh, I'm gonna debadge probably the whole truck Tundra emblem King emblem and the 5.7 emblem will all be coming off and in the back chrome will be deleted and so it's got a top cover on here which is cool because it it flips up it has a bed cover in the rear full of all my cleaning supplies and do some detailing that flips back back up and locks it's really cool I ended up getting a really good deal on this truck. I was really excited about it. Um, it has 68,000 miles on it, so it's pretty low, decent mileage. Um, there's one problem, which we're gonna have to fight Toyota on to see if they cover it. There's a rear main seal that's leaking. I know, I know. You have to pull the transmission out, do a rear main seal, but these trucks are actually known for the rear main seal leaking. I've seen a lot of people that have got them covered under or outside of warranty. Um, he's already put a claim in, the guy who sold it to me. He actually knocked off $1,600 because he didn't want to and deal with it anymore. And that's what the dealer said it would cost him labor to do. So I'm just gonna watch it. They already put dye in the oil after I have it a thousand miles and then come back and they're gonna inspect how bad it is. Apparently from the factory, there was like a, a dowel pin or there were some kind of studs that weren't inserted all the way in. I think it was into the block. So when they put the rear main seal in, it's not the actual seal that's leaking. It's just not all the way flush with the block. So 1600 bucks off, not too bad. I'll take it. He actually was asking 33 grand for the truck with all the extras. I totaled everything up with labor, tent, the windows are tinted, um, everything combined. He had over $10,000 in extras added to the truck. He was asking 33 and I didn't really notice it on Craigslist for a while because it was just bad pictures, just... You know, when people just put two or three pictures up and it's just, it just doesn't do the car justice, that's what it was. So he knocked it down 28.5. When I went and looked at the truck, he said it needed tires. He'd be willing to take off 1,500. After he took off 1,500, we we're down to 27. Then at the end of the day, he ended up taking off another 1,600 bucks. So I got it for 25,000. 400? Is that is that math right? We're close to it, within a couple hundred bucks. So for a little over 25 grand, I think I got a smoking deal. I was looking at trucks for a long time, um, 2007s, 2008s, and they were just beat. Anything around 20 to 25 grand. Just These trucks just hold their value, and I wanted a clean one, didn't want a beat up one. So I feel like I got a really good deal. Um, I could do more videos with the Tun Tacoma and the Tundra. Um, switching the parts over, upgrading it. Let me know what you think. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And there is more Subaru videos coming, I promise. Just waiting for some parts to come in the mail, and we'll get started on that again. See you next time. Thanks for watching.